about Shudder. Well, you didn't watch anything? I did. Wa- I'm kidding. I was just telling you what I was watching. <laughs> oh, okay. Pieces, fool. <laughs> Jeez. I saw Color, you, color of Space. You need to stop <laughs> and listen when I speak. I demand that you listen to me, all right? Don't look at me in the eye, Anthony. Do not look at me in the eyes. <laughs> Dun, 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 I swear to... Oh, are we on? Oh, hey. Yeah, hey, okay. everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done. Welcome to yeah. another episode of the GigaHub <laughs> Weekly Show, where we talk about things that <clears throat> matter to us, but may not matter to you. I am host... <laughs> he won't look us in the eye now. <laughs> Don't you look me in the eye. I am host one of three, Luis Del Torre. I am host three of one, Adam Kren. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Oh, oh Anthony. I, I am host Dramatic Gopher of Dramatic Gopher Daikaiju Tony. Wow. <laughs> you, you dramatic Gopher yourself over here to pick up those headphones. I'm so sorry. <laughs> our our no, equipment's fine. not in the best it's condition fine. as it is. I, oh, did not, yeah. I did not expect that to fling out of my head like that. That's fine. I'll be honest with you. They're cheap headphones. It's because they put stuffing in that doesn't make them fit. That's all we got. This is all this stuff. Yeah. Is all we got. And for anyone who is old enough to remember Dramatic Gopher. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And with that said, with, Let's our, talk about with our cheap, shoddy cheap, equipment, cheap, please like, share, and subscribe. It'll really help, It'll us, really out. help us out. Listen, yeah. guys, don't pay attention to the the, the diva attitude Ow. that you heard before. I promise you, yeah. it was all just an act. Uh-huh. Go for us. Did um, you drink your I obnoxious red my, my obnoxious red bull. I got yeah. wings. Um, before we continue on any further, let's right. talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, yes. the jewel of, of the, the Mojave, Mojave Desert. Desert. Uh, we have everything that you could ever want and or need in your life. And I mean that. I truly mean that, guys. You don't yeah. need anything else in your life but comics and action figures, yeah. T-shirts, magnets, Graphic G Fuel. Models, boxes. So you don't dehydrate. I know what they don't have. <laughs> what? They don't have any back issues of ROM, the Space Knight. No. Because <laughs> somebody keeps buying them all up. <laughs> <laughs> we keep getting them, but they're always flying yeah, out the door. They're always flying out the door. Right. Same thing happens whenever the store gets back issues of Dark Horse Godzilla. There's only That's like true. That's two, true. there's wow. only two left whenever they're put in <laughs> the table. Most of them are bought by Tony. <laughs> anyway, what do you got? What do you got to show off? I have ex- well, it's not exclusive in our store, but it is not in every store because it's not through common means. But I have Jim Calafiore. I hope I pronounce that correctly. Ned. Lord of the Pit, his graphic novel. Um, I read it. It's actually really good. It's very funny and creepy, as you can see the artwork. Um, it's not available in all stores. Some stores carry it. Um, Jim's a really nice guy. If you don't know who Jim Calafiore is, he's probably worked on almost every name a DC or Marvel title. He's probably worked on it at uh-huh. some point. He's been in the industry for a long, can long, you, long, long damn, time. Can you share with us what kind of back alley um, deal you had to do to get this book? <laughs> Uh, no. Or was Jim Calafiore just nice enough to? He was take nice enough to. Uh, he was nice enough to ask us to put it in the store, so we did. Listen, that's very nice of you, man. <laughs> but you could have, you could have gotten anything out of this guy, <laughs> money, you know, something. I'm just, you just gave it out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, good for you, but like, you like Frazetta and his character, the Death Dealer. I do. Ooh. You can get it in jigsaw puzzle form. Oh my! And pog form. Oh, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> in what form? Pogs. In pog form. In pog form. I was a Simpsons show. That's funny because the, one of the movies I talk about today has right, a puzzle right. in it. Oh, okay. So nice, that's really wonderful. Nice. What do you guys got uh, before, I, before I haul up my third thing? No, no. Get your third thing out. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my Look goodness. You ever, you ever want to know the history of EC Comics? EC Comics, of course, famous for, um, well, now it's known as like uh, pre, pre-comic pre code comics. Horror, like mostly. Horror I think that's the big thing and crime. Horror, yeah. But the truth is they were one of many companies that did this, but they're probably the most famous. And if you wanted to ever know their history, here is the book for you. <laughs> it's so big, I can't even show it. That thing is the look history at that, of EC Look at that comics. hefty tome right there. Look at that baby. Yeah, you could Ooh, hurt you someone could, with that. Yeah, you could take. That's a murder weapon. <laughs> you can take. Uh, you what can. You, guys yeah, you can take that thing home right now if you right. come on down to Cosmic Comics. Yes. What do What do I got? We yeah, just got what I got? We just got it in stock, actually. Uh, yeah, I realize that. Um, now I know a lot of people. 
might be getting a little burnt out on on D and D or fantasy role play. Right. It happens, right? You it need happens. to take a break sometimes. There's all kinds of RPGs out there, right. yes. which I'm going to talk about at some point. But right now, I want to talk about Call of Cthulhu. Uh, just in time for the end of Creeptober. Uh, mm, Call of no, Cthulhu no, no, no. is an RPG, much like D and D, where you play a paranormal investigator. And been around almost as long too. Yeah, yeah, you play a paranormal investigator hunting down. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, trying to find the truth to find or the truth. knowledge that man was not meant to know. And here's yes. the, uh, it, we have the uh, the Keeper's Rule Book and the Investigator's Handbook. Yep. And here is a, a Keeper's Screen. Yeah. So we have everything that you need to start playing this right game now. right now, right away. Do you believe All in of Cthulhu? It down here. I do. Me what? too. He's my Lord and Savior. Yes. Okay. And I also believe that he doesn't he shouldn't fight Godzilla in any means Ever. necessary. Yeah, no, that's not his yeah, shtick. That, that's dumb. He okay. may be giant, but that's not his shtick. Is yes. he any more giant than Godzilla? I, I don't know about that, but he reaches out in your dreams and he Yes. He influences and controls people. Right. And, and his size well, kind of changes, but... kinda like Lactose. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So what I got what to show got? are art books of the greatest MMO. Oh, oh my God! Okay. <laughs> uh, this, oh, those are pristine books, dude. Do not drop. Yes. Don't drop well, that he, stuff. He did buy them for himself. Yeah, the I know. Has them I as know, well. but like, uh-huh. what I don't want is for him to ruin his pristine books yes, because that would right. make that would make me upset. That would upset me. Yeah. And they're not even my books. Final Fantasy fourteen. Yes, of art books of the critically acclaimed MMO game that everyone should play. All right. This is my daughter plays it. Which it, brings oh, us nice. to our sponsor. Square Sorry. Enix, I'm just kidding. I, please, please pay me Square Enix. I love you. Yeah, guys. right. But, um, <laughs> the, these are based off the second expansion, Stormblood, and nice. they're pretty cool. This is Western Memories, and cover has uh, Yida dash Lise, that's her name, and this cover has Xenos. Mm. And oh, love w- me some Xenos. W- with these books in particular, they come with DLC codes. And Don't give yours out, Tony. Do no, not well, show it on camera. Here, I think he already redeemed them. Already, okay, already okay. Redeemed them. Yeah. Because I've seen people do that, and at least yeah. to their ruin. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one comes with uh, Yotsuyu. Uh, she's one of the villains in Stormblood. I don't nice. know if you can see it. She's very tiny. Actually, yeah, yeah you can't see it. She's yeah. all chibi. Do you fight yeah. her in chibi form? Uh, you fight her in giant god Giant chibi form. Giant chibi form. <laughs> <laughs> giant chibi. And this one comes with a code for a minion of Tataru, nice. the greatest receptionist ever. Do we have greatest receptionist? Do we have any more copies of these in the store? Oh yeah, uh, we do. One of each. Yeah. And oh, right, they, cool. they come with shrink, they come with shrink wraps, so you won't actually. They are shrink wrapped. Yep. Yeah. Drop. I tried to get into the code earlier, but they were shrink wrapped. There was no way I could do it. So <laughs> they're right, safe. Yeah. They're safe. Right, anyway, let's get into it. Yeah. You have all these wonderful things available here. So come on down, spend some money, talk to our uh, our very helpful and knowledgeable and friendly staff, and they'll help you out with whatever you need. Right. Let's get into it. Shudder. 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 I shudder to think. Shudder, of course, is a streaming service that specializes in horror. We got it. Or we, I think we all got awesome. it originally to watch Psycho Goreman. Right. Yes. Um, right. But yeah. we realized that there's so many good movies on oh, there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And being that it's what is this? Would this be the last show of October? It'll actually air November 1st, but that's okay. It'll be right after Halloween. So that's fine. That's that counts. Okay. Uh, that's okay. okay. That counts, That's but uh, we want to share a movie right. that we have each seen on uh, Shutter with you, so that you may watch it on Halloween if you don't right. have little ones, or if you're going to be hanging out with friends or something. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tony, oh, Tony, Tony, yeah. Tony. The only thing, just because we're in Nevada. Yeah, listen, we're in Nevada. <laughs> yeah, but, That's fine, but Tony. The movie I'm going to talk about. You should watch it while you're high, okay? It's so. totally... <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we do live it's in Nevada, t- yeah. everybody. Yeah. It's totally okay to take substances such as alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarettes with nicotine. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> Sharpies. Okay. Oh, Sharpies. Sharpies. Dry erase markers. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Spray, don't, 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 spray paint and glue. No, no. That, don't do that. That was cruel. Right. Yeah, right. don't, don't, yeah, don't do that. Shutter, just, shutter, just, shutter, shutter. 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 Guys. Anyway, so yeah, we uh, we each watched a movie uh, from Shutter to recommend yes. to you. Yes. Who would like to start? Yes, I would. Go for it. Go for it. All right. What I would like to talk about is Nicolas Cage in The Color of Space. I actually have also seen this movie. Which yeah. mo- what, what movie is this? The, the Color, Color of, Space. of Space. The Color of Space. Based okay. on an H.P. H. Lovecraft story, which is also what Call of Cthulhu is based off of. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Okay, okay. so... Yeah, um, you were talking about it before to me a while ago. I don't remember Yeah, and I think exactly. we actually mentioned it on the show. Briefly. briefly. At some point, yeah, yeah. But, but briefly, yeah. 
Man, this movie was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, wouldn't Nick Cage crazy? Of course. Oh, yeah, oh, he's, color of space. He's, oh, really, he's really good in it. He's yeah. really good in it. <laughs> is he? Okay, yeah, he's he not like yeah, over the no, top. Nick Cage. It's great. And okay. like, it's a great flick. The way that you, oh, the you, space and the color. Okay, normally I'm not too fond of movies. I'd have to watch multiple times just to understand it. But with this one, the movie's out of order in purpose. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It, it is. I think at some point they even comment about how the phenomenon associated with this radiation that presents itself, at least to the eye, as magenta, because magenta is a color that we cannot perceive. It's actually just an interpretation of yes of, mm. of colors we actually cannot perceive, so it shows up as magenta. And the colors that are used in the movie are, my, all, are all magenta. My yeah. goodness, yeah. Um, Tony, when you watched yeah, this movie, were you on alcohol? No, but I'm thinking of rewatching it on... We oh the uh, the uh, great <laughs> the uh, the uh, phenomenon associated with the color though it <clears throat> it disrupts time so yes. scenes mm-hmm. are out of order like when people run into each other it's in different parts of their own personal sort of timeline right yes. yeah it's pretty bizarre wow. <laughs> yeah and this That's is on Shutter yeah and this yes. is of course the return of um, ah, his name's escaping me um, go ahead <laughs> oh. <laughs> say, say what you're gonna say Re- I gotta look up his last name I gotta I'll look up his last name. But, Go ahead. Yeah, this movie, like, and I like how, well, at at first viewing, you couldn't tell why the scenes were out of order. But like when you when you view it again and see, and you look at the lighting in each scene specifically, and how like the slight differences of each lighting mm-hmm. basically coincide with each other as it gradually changes. Yeah. Like I'm like. Oh my God! So, so like Richard Stanley. This is a return of directing of to directing of Richard Stanley. So, do, are there are there times in the movie where it switches between timelines, and you can just kind of tell from the color, mm-hmm. like that it's a different timeline? Yeah, but or? you don't notice it the first time you see it. Certain scenes happen, and you're like, mm-hmm. "What's going on?" Like, I that didn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. But yeah, it's, now it's th- pretty crazy. this isn't my favorite H.P. Lovecraft movie. That would be From Beyond, <laughs> just because Barbara Crampton. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. 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 But, Real but nice. This would probably be my third it's definitely favorite movie five, based yeah. off uh, Lovecraft story. Reanimator. Num- Reanimator number two. Yeah. Uh, Reanimator number one. Resurrected. From Until beyond. I see this space magenta. From Beyond's number one for really me. Good, yeah. The it's movie. Really good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Nicolas Cage is very good in it. Yes. yes. He's not. At any point, crazy in a cage? Oh, yeah, because the color makes them all crazy. Yes. Sure, but I mean, like, just throughout the whole movie, just general Nick Cage. No, I mean, bad, it, it's good a, movie vibe. It's a slow, yeah, it's a slow burn. Oh, no, into, it's not like that well, one movie where Nicolas Cage is screaming about anal beads or n- no, something. No. I it, it's, what? It's, it's, there's, it's, no, there's no mac and cheese demon or whatever. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. no, no. He doesn't okay. believe that he's a vampire. Right. This is a for real movie. Yes. Yeah. And Nick it's Cage good. is being it's for good. real. Yes. Directed by Richard Stanley, who famously went off the well, not really went off the deep end. It was thought that he went off the deep end in uh, the for the Island of Doctor Moreau, which apparently, when you hear his side of it, he was just oh yeah, he was just disappointed that's and a, sad. Man, that's yeah. a that's yeah. a movie I, I we got to talk about at some point. Yeah, I heard a production yeah. of that movie. You went to hell. <laughs> well, I think they just threw that guy kind of way too much. <laughs> he was still yeah. fairly new at the time, but oh, he definitely uh, a, a genius guy. Anyway, movie's great. Yeah, and if you're curious about that movie, where Nicolas Cage screams about beads it's it's a movie where no. like these parents are trying to kill their own kids basically and nicholas cage is right. the father okay. and it's perfect because nicholas cage is cuckoo all right in a good way all right well my movie is i guess a tv movie <laughs> or a shutter movie okay um it's actually the creep show holiday special nice oh. which was fantastic yeah <laughs> the, this is this is the new creep show right yes the, the yes, new yes, yes, okay yes. Um, the guy, he basically goes to a, it's like an AA meeting, except it's an AA for shape changers. Whoa. And, but everybody's like something innocuous. Like there's a, I, I, now it's, I don't remember what they all are now, but it's like a turtle. One's a turtle. One's a, it's like kind of innocuous. I think one's like a house cat or something <laughs> and he's a werewolf and they're like real for real. They're like impressed with him. But yeah. He's as the cool shape shifter. Yeah. As everything plays out and sa- and Santa Claus shows up, and things kind of get really nutty. <laughs> what? It's fantastic. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say too much. Who's in it, this? It's uh, you know, I don't. Was I don't, this produced I don't know if by anybody? This was the creep show that was produced by Greg Nicotero, the, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the, Ooh, the it's a holiday right. special. Yeah. All right. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't want to get into too much detail, but 
it's just how it unfolds and the interplay between the characters and you know them kind of giving each other crap because <laughs> mm, of different okay. types of animals they change into right. and and then of course as it all plays out and it just it's just ever increasing or escalating craziness <laughs> finally escalates and and granted it's it's re- relatively low budget so don't you know don't expect yeah howling or the wolfman level of werewolves but <laughs> I like i use the howling <laughs> as a, as I a love benchmark howling. I lo- it's, like <laughs> like it's not like it's not like big budget like the howling oh, yeah your sister's uh, howling to your sister's no, not yeah, two. Oh, 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 one. Oh, okay, okay 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 not the numerous sequels but the actual first one i mean two is the best um, one right? yes it is air uh, five just because no. the end credit song no, <laughs> Tony, you're not supposed yeah, to tell yeah. them that. They're supposed to figure that out themselves. But anyway, yeah, it's just in just after Halloween, just in time for the holidays. I think it was for last year, actually. So maybe they're gonna have a new special. But uh, you know, Creep Show Holiday Special, check it out, man. It's good. It's yeah, good. Yeah. Very cool. Very uh, cool. That's all I got for mine. Yeah. All right, so I have one that uh, you can. I picked a fun one. I think it's very. It's a very fun. campy slasher. Oh, it's yeah. fun because like. This is definitely a movie you can watch with friends while you're all on alcoholic beverages <laughs> or smoking Cigarettes tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, it's a uh, it's a co-production between Spain, the United States, and Puerto Rico. Ooh. Puerto Rico. When it was all shot in Boston, Massachusetts. Wow. Uh, in Spanish. Wow. Now this is it's a dubbed movie. At least. I think it. I, I think it's dubbed. I'm not sure who was supposed to, who was actually an American in this movie and who wasn't. Um, That's good. The movie's called Pieces, but in Spanish it's called Mil Gritos Tiene la Noche, or The Night Has a Thousand Screams, is how it translates wow, to. That's actually uh, kind of a cool name. It's a, it is very cool. It, it's too bad the movie's not as cool. Um, <laughs> wow. the, the cool ends with the title, the Spanish title of the movie. Um, the, the, it's a very strange. It's you know what it feels like a parody of slasher movies, yeah. Certainly, um, but the um, the film stars the uh, duo who were actually uh, actually married were uh, Christopher George and Linda Day George. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah who was uh, <laughs> Christopher George was the lieutenant, uh, the, the right. head, the guy who was in charge of the investigation to find the you slasher. Know, probably, okay, so this is this an older film. movie. Okay. Yeah, in '82. I've, I've probably seen it. I'm sure you've right. probably years. Have. Yeah, it's been right, so years. Yeah, this, this is a slasher. Familiar. Familiar. Okay, this because, is a slasher. Because yeah. when you say the title pieces, I'm thinking, is this a slasher? Because I know a movie called Torso and. Well, I would no, no, no. So things. Uh, there, so the reason it's called pieces, I didn't. You don't figure out why it's called pieces until the end. Um, but Versus, you know, it's a 1982 movie. I don't know that I'm going to spoil anything. It's fun to watch either <laughs> way. But basically, the movie starts. I remember I was saying there was a puzzle in my movie. Right. It starts with a child of undiscernible age at least to me i'm terrible at discerning the age of children um somewhere between yeah two and 12 yeah he looked like he was between <laughs> two and f- 17 i don't know i don't know i don't know um but he was putting together a puzzle with a nude lady on it and he was caught by his mother and when she freaked out and took the puzzle away he axe murdered her <laughs> he axe murdered his mother. Then this okay. came after Halloween, so yeah. It he, makes he, sense. No, and his tracks. And tried to dismember her. Tried. Yeah, because there was a uh, one the of leverage. the neighbors came over. This was all in like the first <laughs> five ten minutes. Uh, one of the neighbors came over, and nobody was coming to the door, so she oh got the God. police involved. Oh my God! And once he couldn't get rid of the body in any way, shape, or form, covered in blood, he hid in the closet and pretended like somebody broke in. And killed and killed the mother and yeah oh he's God. he's a little bit of a psychopath and then uh, you don't see where he's at up until the end of the movie when you find out who he was the whole time. This movie is crazy because the guy who plays the lead investigator on this lieutenant doesn't have officers infiltrating this college where all these college women are being murdered and right. chopped up. Oh my God! Uh, yeah. No, but no. Because I just look at a clip of the scene online. I'm like, I think I've seen that opening, the where the kid kills his mom. In a in a tw- in a Twitter uh, account, that says no context of violence, which shows like random clips from 80s slasher films. I'm like, I think you've seen that before. And I look at it, I'm like, oh my god, I, I have. And so the, you've seen it? You've the, seen the movie, or you've no, seen, the, seen the clip? You just saw the clip. So uh, like the axe only like hits her head. It doesn't actually. It's, it's like they're hit, smacking. She's. It's like she's being smacked in the head with a prop axe and. And then they just quick cut to like blood and stuff, right. like yeah. you know, old school slasher right. film tricks and stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah. and then you, uh, so he has an actual student, and a his wife 
who plays a tennis champion is <laughs> is the tennis instructor at this school. So they're basically his undercover people because they're short on cops. <laughs> <laughs> Which, in what world what? would a cop ask you, like, listen, you were connected I to one of the go. victims. Yeah, I need you to go undercover. You, go undercover. <laughs> <laughs> you and this tennis champion. I need you guys to go undercover. This movie is crazy. It's crazy. Can I read you? Listen. Sure. There's a bunch of weird lines in this movie. And I only wrote down a few of them. I don't want to give them all away. But I want to read a couple for you. They're all out of context. Um, Good. So <laughs> that's, Good. That's, a, that's, that's the best. That's should be. <laughs> this one has a curse word in it. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say the curse word. Uh, say it. We're past the 30-second mark. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's the new YouTube thing. The most, it went? As long as you don't curse in the first 30 minutes. Oh, 30 is it? 30 seconds, seconds or something. I did 30 seconds or two minutes. Oh, wait, are we cursing just, on the show? Well, you're reading the quote. Just go ahead. Okay. I don't want to start letting loose. All right, all right. It's a, se- it's a sexual connotation, decorum. though. So. Okay. okay. The most beautiful thing in the world is smoking pot and fucking on a waterbed at the same time. Oh, man. Okay. That's a line in there. What if you gag me? I won't make any noise then. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you like gore and boobs, this is the movie this for you. This is the movie for you? The um, waterbeds. Wow. Yeah. You'll be, you'll be playing so much tennis, it'll be coming out of your ears. Yeah. What? Oh, hey, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Oh, hey, it's my kung fu professor. What? <laughs> there is a part in the movie where the the tennis where the tennis instructor is walking around and she gets attacked by uh this uh by the kung fu professor which is he's an asian man he just kind of going around the corner and he started just like throwing punches and kicks at her and stuff right uh he didn't know who she was he just saw her kind of wow. skulking around okay. and he started throwing punches and kicks and then the student Punch comes like goes hey it's all in it's, your mind he, yeah he's like oh hey it's my kung fu professor what's up mr chow and he's like oh i was out for a jog okay bye never see him again <laughs> Never see the kung fu <laughs> professor again. That's I it, thought huh? he was going to show up at some point to fight ah, yeah. the slasher. Yeah, he just threw some yeah. kicks and punches at a lady and then left. Damn. Wow. This is my favorite part. This Sounds is awesome. now <laughs> the acting in this is not great. Uh, but Linda Day George <laughs> has this one line where she really just like lets loose and like really shows off those acting chops. And uh, it's all in the writing. So sure. So here's the line. While we were out here fumbling with that damn music, the lousy bastard was in there killing her. Bastard. 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 <laughs> you think you're better than me? So, so what? what? <laughs> she, so yeah. I mean, she screamed you those bad. You're better than all she of us. Screamed so those what? bastard lines like really loud, <laughs> really like. So, like, when she was in, I was like, mm. bastard! bastard! I was like, masterful, masterful. Susan Dejo. Uh, yeah. So, Linda, Linda Dejo. Linda Dejo. So, yeah, if you're a fan of uh, slashers. I think of Susan George, Linda Dejo. Linda Dejo, yeah. yeah. If you're a fan of slashers uh, and everything that comes with slasher movies, you know, this blood is an, and this boobs. This is an uncut this gem. Is, <laughs> this, is, yes. uh, this is a movie you can definitely enjoy on alcoholic beverages. <laughs> <laughs> and cigarettes containing nicotine. Uh, yeah, so what this all boils down to is Shudder is a damn good streaming service. Can we it's s- not particularly expensive. Can, yes, we, per- can exactly. we just say that we're not being paid by Shudder? We are not. I please pay us. Shudder, please sponsor us. <laughs> I mean, us. if Shudder sponsors, that would be great. I doubt yeah. they would, but, you know, and I don't uh, blame them. But if you haven't discovered Shudder yet and you're a horror fan, Shudder's shame like, on you. Shudder's like five bucks, yeah, right? Five, six something. bucks? Something like that? Something like, there, and you get yeah. like a bunch of horror titles, like a That's lot. That's a lot. And original titles. stuff, creep show. Yeah. The series, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, Wow. When I was looking for something on this, I was like, look at all the stuff that's on here. It's, it's a lot, it's, of, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> Just get the get the, get the the Shutter app. You get a week for free. You get to try it. And, you do. That's true, yeah. And it's I think it's really good. I think it's a great service. Yeah. Uh-huh. So there you go. Those Any, are our recommendations for Crypto. Yeah, what were any, you going to say? Anything else? I was just going to say, anything else on Shutter that you guys want to recommend? Just mm-hmm. a short recommendation. Besides Psycho Gorman? Besides Psycho Gorman, which we did review, yeah. Psycho Gorman was great. Psycho Gorman was fantastic. Feel good movie of the year. <laughs> the feel good movie of the year. No. I wish that was a blurb on the box. Yeah, I'll right. have to look up my search history and show her. <laughs> I didn't I did end up getting on Blu-ray, however, I did not get the hunky boy version. It was just too expensive. 
The Hunky Boy edition. I got <laughs> oh, a Psycho Gorman. Psycho Gorman, yeah. yeah. It's t- t- too expensive. I don't know. Um, I missed the boat on it. Mm. Oh, you should have. But of course, Creep it. Show, yeah. Um, hmm. well, yeah, obviously Creep Show. Uh, All the Elvira's on there. So lot, Yeah, a lot of Elvira's are on there. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's right. Matter of fact, I found a movie. Oh, what was it called? Island of the Doomed or something? It was with uh, Cameron Mitchell plays this kind of weird, reclusive uh, plant guy. <laughs> and he, he basically breeds carnivorous plants. And there's like these flowers that these little worms come out of and dig into people. And yeah, it's crazy. Suck their blood out. Yeah. Mm. And it's bad. I remember it-, it as a kid creep being very creepy. Yeah. And for years, I couldn't remember what it was and yeah. couldn't remember what it was called. And I remember I saw Cameron Mitchell in something. And I'm like... He was in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I started looking at Cameron Mitchell movies, and I found, like, and it's known by a couple different names because it was a Italian-Spanish production, I think. Oh, okay. It's so like yeah. Island of the Doomed or something like that. Sure. It's, a, it's a couple different names. Yeah, uh, The Blood of the Hydra, I think, is one of the names <laughs> it's called. Yeah, it's really strange. Yeah, And I'd like to mention that the Shudder has a large selection of horror movies, they not do, just exclusives. Yeah. Probably more than Netflix. Yeah, there's a bunch of like <laughs> old for like, horror. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can find like all the old 70s and 80s slasher. A lot of them on there are, are on there. This is where I found pieces. By the way, I didn't say why it was called pieces. He was taking oh, yeah, pieces yeah, yeah. off of young women to rebuild his mother. Right. My goodness. At the end. Oh, and when they find this Frankenstein-ish body, she he she falls. On the lead character, and he screams for like ten seconds straight, oh, yeah, and it's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, and then she castrates him at the end of the movie. In Search of Darkness is in here. In Search of Darkness, the horror That's movie right. documentary. That's right. And yeah. my name's in the first one. Ah, because oh, you were a Kickstarter guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I was. I think it's in the second one, but I haven't watched the second one yet. Matter of fact, that oh. I haven't even opened my box. I got the oh. because I got the cover with James Rolf in it. So because. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, like, Shutter's good stuff. Sorry. Uh, but for my one recommendation, because I have to look at my search history to like fresh my brain out, um, <laughs> Basket Case. Ba- Basket Case. The classic. Yeah, that movie's awesome. Basket Case is a cult classic horror movie that's super low budget, really bad stop motion, but just a great flick. I might yep. have to watch that. that right. that's it's good. Nice. Yeah, it's it's good. Uh, no, nah, nothing that I can say that I've actually watched yet. So yeah, I'd have to dig through the app and really look. But yeah, there we go. So there's our recommendations Shutter. for Shudder. Check it out. Yes. Yeah. Check it out. It's good. App. Anything else, yeah. guys? Uh, yeah. Remember that when you're watching those movies, to take legal substances such as alcoholic beverages <laughs> or cigarettes. With nicotine. Or cigarettes with nicotine. <laughs> yes. All right. Anything or in else? some select states, psilocybin. <laughs> Ketamine. It's Any mad. Ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Bath Any salts. Any recommendations before we get out no, of here? No, no. You, you turn to a zombie. If you oh, do that. Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Methamphetamine. <laughs> okay, good. We're just going to name drugs for no, people no. to learn. Okay, Barbiturates. So, Barbiturates. <laughs> Barbiturates. <laughs> Barbiturates. So, we're going Sunday. to plugins now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do plugs. Sure. All right. I like to plug in uh, Nerd Cage Live, Toko Titan Cast, um, Kaijuzilla621 released his Godzilla fan film. Uh, Godzilla Apex, go check that out. Go Is it guys it in suits? No, it's toys and my friend's voice oh, characters. Okay. Um, That's cool. I do. I watch it. I I'd watch it. I want to shout out Rabtoons, who is probably a bigger YouTuber than all of us because he's been around for a while. But nice. Rabtoons, I'm. If we can get one person to go follow Rabtoons, that's all. I, that's all I care about. <laughs> he's a. Well, if we can influence one person well, to do something, the, the guy's from the UK. Uh, he does. Raunchy parody animations of Final Fantasy games and Silent Hill games. I volunteered my voice for the Silent Hill 4 Nutshell, which comes out on Halloween. Nice. Yep. Ooh. And I'm doing a little bit of writing, doing writing duties for the Final Fantasy 14 Nutshells. Nice. A little oh. bit. Cool. Wow, Tony. Yeah. Woof. Yeah, man of the world. Yeah. Renaissance guy. Jeez. Anyway, uh, what do I got going on? Uh, so, Saturday... I'll be at the I got Outlet Mall. <laughs> nah, I got nothing. You got nothing? Yeah, Saturday I'll probably just be home. Halloween. What are you doing on Halloween? Well, this will be the day after Halloween, so it doesn't matter. Oh, You'll yeah. have already uh, done it. Yeah, what will I do with Halloween? I um, probably watch a scary movie while on legal substances, such as alcoholic <laughs> beverages. Go. All right. There you go. <laughs> Or bitch you T public slash Go Fenris <laughs> or Oddity Collectibles. Heroin. Cool. No. No. There's no heroin no? on T Public. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. Cool t shirts to uh, tickle your fancy. 
Cocaine. No, no cocaine. Uh, no cocaine. No cocaine. <laughs> Tony's all for cocaine. All right. Oh, yeah. Those are great shirts, by the way. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything to plug. I'm so sorry. I'm not as busy as you two. And I, I on the one hand, yeah, I'm lately, like, good, man. good, because I don't need any more on my plate at the moment. <laughs> right. But at the same time, it's like, I, I don't have anything going on, and I feel left out. All right. Hmm. I'm well, going to eat a sandwich on Saturday, I think. Right. Mm. So. Are you guys eating a sandwich? Yeah. Probably. Are you? Mm-hmm.